starting to be intentional about recognizing how my attachment style styles is you know playing or guiding or directing or moving the way I make relationships. Hello, hello everybody. Hi. Um, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Um, I guess I'm just now introducing this vlog, which I started, which I started yesterday, which was my birthday. <laughs> so yesterday was actually my birthday. Um, and yeah, so I am fresh at the start of a new age. I don't think I really share my age on here and there isn't like a particular reason why it's not like i'm like ashamed of my age or i think i'm too old or too young but um i guess i just don't share my age because i like to keep an air of mystery around how old i am maybe you know what you can if you know how old i am because you're my friend or like family don't answer in the comments but if you want to go ahead and guess how old i am in the comments I think that'd be a fun <laughs> game to play. I may or may not confirm it. Um, but yeah, anyway, so yesterday was my birthday. I took the day off of work and um, I had a really slow start to the day. Actually, I had a late night. I think I was up Tuesday night. I probably stayed up till about like 11, which is, you know, pretty late for me. Uh, I stayed up watching netflix and then i woke up in the middle of the night and i snacked on some like chocolate covered caramels and watched some more netflix and then i went back to sleep and then i think i was awake at around like six i um responded to messages from my family of course they're always one of the first people to wish me a happy birthday so my brother wished me a happy birthday which is so sweet because um at the time he was actually vacationing in Cancun and so I felt really really loved that he actually remembered and he took the time to send me a sweet thoughtful birthday message and of course my mom wished me a happy birthday my dad wished me a happy birthday and my family friends um, whom I lived with sorry if you can hear like the sirens I live like super close to, like a main road and there are always like sirens going off um, but anyway my family friends um, whom I lived with when I first moved back to Calgary they also wished me uh, a happy birthday actually video call um from them uh so yeah it was very sweet and then i talked to my uh, friend back home in nigeria for uh, a little bit we caught up and um yeah we just got talking and making plans and yeah i had a really i told her like it felt really strange to still be in bed at like quarter to eight and then i had like my, made myself breakfast in bed watched some bob's burgers and then sort of napped until i had to get up to get ready for my massage appointment so uh, i had a nice hour 75 minute massage um it was a deep tissue massage and man when i say they she really went in she went in so that was really good and then after that i drove and picked up some birthday cupcakes for myself if you don't know this um i typically like to celebrate my birthday every year with a cupcake and like i just like getting myself cupcakes or making cupcakes for myself and it really came out of the fact that for most of my adult life adult life i feel like i've celebrated my birthday alone for one reason or the other yeah so i've just made a tradition or a habit of just buy myself cupcakes instead of like an entire cake and just enjoying it over the course of a few days um so I, so after my massage and when i picked up some cupcakes i got cupcakes from crepe cupcakes um and it was really really delicious and then i went to the mall went to indigo and bought some books because i got a gift card to indigo from work and so i just made good use of that and yeah and so the rest of the day was really me just coming back home um uh cleaning my apartment a little bit folding away laundry and then i got ready for dinner because my family friends and i um went out to dinner together we just went to the keg because we brought the kids along and we wanted to go to a place that was sort of kid friendly in the sense that the kids would have something to eat to me it didn't really matter where we went i was just really pleased and thrilled to go out for dinner for my birthday because i don't think i've ever done that 
at least not to my the last time I ever really went out to eat with friends and people for my birthday was my 16th birthday so quite a while ago um but yeah I was really pleased and thrilled to be able to do that and then I came home relaxed and popped open a bottle of Prosecco and wound down drinking Prosecco and watching a rom-com and to me it was probably one of the best birthdays I've had in a while and I don't know if I say I feel like I say this every year because on my birthday I feel like there's such an outpouring of love even more so than usual from um, my friends and family and like my even my co-workers and yesterday I just felt really incredibly loved and really special and blessed and it put a lot of things into perspective for me because you know I was thinking like my life in the grand scheme of things is not really hard I mean I may struggle in places here and there but on the whole I'm doing really well I've got you know my own place that I can afford a vehicle that I can afford a job that I absolutely love with all of my heart co-workers that mean the world to me friends and family that mean the world to me and are and I, and I know will always be in my corner will always show up for me so a lot of things came into perspective and actually talking about this making me tear up for some reason but I felt things kind of like became a bit clearer for me and I I knew in that very moment for sure that I have a lot of things to be grateful about and just kind of vowing to myself to always focus on the positives of which there are many in my life and you know just yeah so that was my birthday in sum uh, for me that was a very good birthday um, like I said usually my birthdays are spent in solitude um, but this was good this was very good so here we are we're starting to count down to the next birthday I think next birthday will probably be a bit different I'm hoping that I can travel somewhere um, finally uh, to celebrate my birthday either by myself or with my friends we'll see how that goes but yeah so I just thought that I'd pick up the camera and share a little bit about that I guess I have yeah um, I think this is just gonna be another kind of random few days in my life sort of vlog I I have a lot of things that I want to do in the next few days a lot of like life admin stuff that I want to do before the new year because next week which is actually um the week of like Christmas Eve Christmas I'm gonna be going away uh, to visit going back home spending Christmas with my family and I probably won't be back until probably a couple of days before the new year I'm not sure yet I hope y'all are doing well um, I'm doing amazingly and I'm super excited to be wrapping up the year and going into a new year. I think it's going to be absolutely wonderful. But I hope you enjoy watching this vlog. So keep watching. <laughs> You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you get me this night up. You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me here high and dry. Okay, so I am dressed and just about to head out to the gym and I thought I would just show y'all my gym fit because this is a new kind of set that I, these are new pieces that I just recently picked up from Old Navy. I, my company gives us this like wellness, we have like a wellness account and so we can pretty much charge anything like health and wellness related to it and that includes gym clothes and it. So, you know it was coming to the end of the year i had money left over and i needed to use the money so i decided to get some gym clothes but these are both from old navy the leggings that i have on is they are seven eights um power soft high rise leggings i don't remember what color it's in but it's kind of like a dark red burgundy type color and it's got like nice deep pockets which i'm all about and i like that it's seven eights because i usually roll up the ankles anyway to my leggings because I have such skinny ankles so yeah and then the top that I'm wearing is kind of like a um, soft knit crop top and it's got like a scooping hem 
just in front and at the back so it does like this nice, you know, kind of, um, anyway, I don't know how to describe it, but it's kind of like a scoop, right? And it's not super cropped and I think it's kind of flattering for my body. So yeah, I just thought I would just show you guys what I'm wearing to the gym, training back today, so really excited for that. But yeah, I'm gonna head out now and I'll see y'all later. So a friend of mine got me this like black truffle kit. It's got uh, green pesto, um, black truffle salt, um, black truffle sauce, and a black truffle oil. So um, I'm just gonna make some pasta with that. I've got this fusilli casareci, so it's kind of like a long fusilli. I got this from Home Sense, so. I'm just going to be preparing that with the pasta. later in the day and I'm just heading out right now because I bought this espresso machine or like espresso coffee maker off of Facebook marketplace or I'm going to go buy it so I'm going to go pick it up right now I'm going to yeah head out right now and I will I'll also probably be stopping by home sense because I want to pick up some bacon stuff um, so I'll do that I'm back home and I'm just chilling a little bit before I kind of start cleaning up around the apartment but I just wanted to quickly sit down and kind of chat very briefly about um, something that I kind of learned I not kind of learned but I was listening to a podcast today um, on how to create lasting relationships and it was more so like focusing on like romantic relationships but I feel like it could also really apply to any kind of relationship um, this was an episode on the Mark Groves podcast and the guest speaker, I don't remember who it was, but um, he was really kind of talking about like how our attachment styles can, you know, really do influence what kind of relationships we settle into and the dynamic that's present in the relationship. And this is something that resonates so strongly with me because I've known about like attachment styles for a couple of years, like attachment styles, yeah, for a couple of years now. And for my own personal attachment style, I've always felt like um, I had an anxious um, attachment style. But uh, lately, it's been brought to my attention that I, I have more of an avoidance style. Um, and so I think it's probably like a blend of both, but I'm really just starting to be intentional about recognizing how my attachment style styles is, you know, playing or guiding or directing or ruling the way I behave in relationships, not just romantic relationships, but also like personal relationships, friendships, familiar relationships, whatever. And um, 
I am at this point like working towards really working hard towards um, at moving towards a more secure attachment style and I know it's not impossible it's something that can happen but definitely takes a lot of hard work and it's not a sh straight shot right but anyway so one of the things two things that this guest um, said that we need in like lasting to create lasting relationships is first we need to have you know spoken agreements between ourselves and our partner or ourselves and our friends or whatever the case may be and these agreements really will guide how we relate with one another um, in the relationships and I think the, the agreements can be based on values and principles or whatever um, so for me, I'm thinking, when I was listening to that, I'm thinking what I need to do is really sit down and figure out what my own personal relationship rules are and, you know, in a way, just sort of figuring out what my, what my boundaries are too, right, is what I want from a relationship, what I'm willing to give in a relationship, what the, the, the guiding principle really of that relationship should be. And then the second thing that he said that I thought was really something that I need to I need to practice some more is learning how to repair quickly and that is so important and I think um, as someone that has avoided tendencies I tend to want people to repair with me first to want people to take the first step towards you know apologizing or making the steps towards reconciliation and it has to do with like the avoidance um, attachment aspect obviously it has to do with my protection and not really putting myself out there and not really being vulnerable but it also is like an ego thing a pride thing because there's also this fear of like yeah what if i make the first move towards reconciliation but i'm rebuffed right because and that has happened and it hurts which is why you just almost just sort of want to make sure that that person is making the first step because if they're making the first step then for sure um it's almost it's like almost like a power thing too at the same time it's like well the power is in my hands um that's something i definitely want to do is learning how to repair and repair quickly that was a phrase he used that i think resonated is just learning how to fall on your onto your own sword you know just putting it aside any notion of who's right or wanting to be right and just willing to being willing to take that step towards reconciliation and i thought that was just incredible it's something that i definitely want to practice more not just in romantic relationships but also in like friendships too right and that was something he said that um an agreement that he and his wife have in their relationship is that they can go to bed they don't need to like resolve everything before going to bed they can go to bed upset or still angry but they have to touch each other's toes and i thought that was kind of cool right because it just shows that you know you know no matter how angry this person is with me no matter how disappointed this person is with me they're still going to be there in the morning right and i think when it comes down to it our attachment wounds really are stemming from this fear of abandonment so so if we can like show and reassure our partners that we're still going to be there even with a falling out with an argument with a fight through physical touch it doesn't really even have to be physical touch it can be like a physical touch a goofy gesture making their favorite meal something that just shows that i might be upset with you still but i'm going i'm here we're going to work on this together as a team and i'm not abandoning you and it's incredibly reassuring so yeah that was quite a learning experience for me on my drive but i just thought that i'd share that i don't really talk about like relationship stuff too much on my channel but i feel like i should because i'm in just the season of life i feel like where i'm learning so much about relationship about myself about what i want to bring to relationship like when i and what i expect in turn i'm um, about not just being so individualistic because I am such an individual, such an independent person and just sort of yielding to this, this teamness. Is that a word? Just this idea that in a relationship you almost, you don't necessarily have to forego your individual self, but understanding that you and that person 
are in it together, right? And just learning to build security through that. But I feel like we should talk more about relationship stuff, stuff but anyway. So this weekend, I want to make my i want to bake like a bunch of christmas cookies to share with my co-workers at work before the holiday before we kind of break for the holiday so i bought like some things at home size that would really help with this wait i picked up this like mixing bowl set um that also has baking utensils i also picked up some almond extract for the bacon that i'm gonna do and then i picked up this uh stainless steel milk jug and then I also picked up a small chopping board. And then, um, again, just because I'm going to be doing a lot of baking, and we have two baking trays, I thought it would be helpful to just have one extra um, just to kind of get things quickly moving. So I picked up this, like, um, it's called a cookie sheet. time and make myself a cup of coffee which is now cold amazing but it didn't work as well as I thought it would work yeah I couldn't really it made more coffee than I thought it would if I was expecting like a shot of espresso but it just kind of kept brewing and adding water so that's something I need to figure out that's just it for right now I'm just going to yeah just take a second uh, enjoy my coffee and then just kind of slowly putter out of the house <laughs> now that I think about it. I don't have much else that I want to share. Thank you all so much for watching and for staying tuned. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you're new to the channel, thank you for being here and please make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up as well. It will really help me out. But that is everything that I have to share for now. I hope you all have enjoyed watching this and I will see you all next time in another video. Bye!